Welcome back, everyone. Brian Weingarter is with us today. Allen County Commissioner doing a little budget talk for us. Crunching the numbers, probably like in, in your sleep at night, they're going around yeah, in your yeah. head, right? You, yeah. You count numbers instead of sheep <laughs> to go right. to sleep. So. Where are you at in the, in the process? This year was a little because you're coming off two and a half years of pandemic, and I know that's that's kind of tough to sometimes to guesstimate what you need. It but, is. But you're uh, humming along. That's been a struggle the last couple of years, of yeah. course, but uh, uh, everything's kind of maintained itself. The areas that we thought uh, we might see a reduction in uh, sales tax, so on. Uh, it stayed stayed pretty steady. So, yeah. so right now we're in pretty good shape. Um, you know, we have the same as anyone's uh, personal budget. Utilities are higher. Yeah. Um, food prices are higher for the jail. So we have the same problems at the county level budget as you do with your personal budget, just in a in a much larger. Uh, yeah, area though. Do, so. do you guys watch the federal numbers because the job numbers are real strong, and I'm sure that that's good for the county as well. It is. Yeah, we 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 watch all that stuff yeah. and um, we monitor it all. And our main stuff is, of course, the Ohio sales tax is, what, is sure. what our majority of our uh, revenues from. So I know a big part of the budget, obviously, is the sheriff's office and the jail. And you guys made some changes a little bit as far as in-house medical care and that yeah. kind of thing that sh that should make a difference, right? Yeah, yeah, that'll definitely help. Um, so we've outsourced that particular area. Um, you know, so far so good. That's yeah. been going since June. Uh, it's been a pretty smooth transition. Uh, give give kudos to the administration at the sheriff's office for making that transition pretty smooth. Yeah, the department heads come in. They give you, in a, in a sense, a bit of a wish list. Is there anything that stood out from the department heads? And I know you. It seems like they kind of work together as far as staggering things. Like, okay, I got a fairly big thing I need here, yeah. and that that kind of thing. Yeah. It, our county works great together. Yeah. I mean, we really have a good working relationship, a good team. So, so they know where the county finances are. Um, we we have yearly, we have quarterly updates with a lot of the agencies and, and department heads. So, um, it's not just this time of year we're talking budget. It's it's throughout yeah. the entire year. So they have a pretty good understanding of where we're at throughout the year. And then legally you have to submit it by a certain date then, right? Yeah. So we can't officially uh, approve the budget until January 1 of 23. So okay. what we do is, is come up with this draft. We'll present it. And if there's any tweaking that needs to be done, then we'll do it before the first of the year. It seems like the next week you start working on the next one. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> About a day later yeah, you start working yeah. on that. We chatted a little bit and did a story on the Veterans Garage. Kind of give us a sense. I know one of the things you were doing was looking for a good spot for that, and you yeah. think you found it, right? We think we found a spot. Um, the, the local land bank, um, they were given a property on Wayne Street, and they had to demo the building, which was done. So the land bank doesn't own property, right? right. So they are willing to transfer that to county for county use. So we think we have a, a pretty nice spot for it. It's local downtown area. A lot of our veterans I've heard uh, like to walk to to get to the vans uh, sure. to go to their appointments. So it's still relatively close to the courthouse. And uh, so what we've done, we're looking uh, to outsource, going to an architect, criteria architect, come up like a needs assessment type what we're looking for we're hoping to do a two three four bay maybe put their vans in and then have a nice little lobby area with the bathrooms to get in out of the inclement weather yeah that'll help is there a timeline in, in place for you when you'd like to see some dirt turned yeah um this spring i hope yeah um that's our goal is to get that all that accomplished this coming 20 and yeah. 23. You have to be getting good feedback, I would think, from the veterans groups, thinking, yeah. saying, you know, it's yeah, nice for to sure. Get yeah, they, they, you know, this time of year, you don't know what kind of weather yeah. you're going to get, um, and then of course, uh, the ones that that need to go to their appointments, they have to walk and and they don't have anywhere to get out of the weather. So sure. this would be a nice nice addition for It'll the veterans. It'll help, that's for sure. All right, yeah. thank you, Brian. We appreciate. You're welcome. It. Good Merry Christmas to you. Same to you. Don't go away. Medical news coming up next on Unit Edition.